Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by Carolina Lightweight Tom Gibson. When the action begins in the studio, our referees for tonight's event are El Gato Azul and Carolina Real Streamers. For the viewers in attendance and Facebook and YouTube users around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the El Gato Azul TV studio in Louisville, Texas, it's time! What's up, slime lovers? Welcome to the slime show, baby. We're going to have a special uh, episode tonight. Usually we're on Wednesdays. Today we're going to go on uh, Monday. We got an awesome guest with Stacy Gaston. Got his uh, salesman extraordinaire, Peter Drees. Sit down, baby. He's the man. What's doing tonight? <laughs> Welcome Bad. in, guys. Worn out. So it's been a brutal spring. It's been busy. You guys have been keeping us way more than busy. So yeah, I That's see. The- I see Stace. I see the posts where you guys got entire truckloads of rod holders coming in and going out. <clears throat> I, I think I got a five. I've been working on them. Uh, started last week a little bit, and then I really worked on them today. I'm trying to. I got about a thousand out there right now. We're fixing to get uh, packaged up and put on a crate and ship towards uh, Peter. There. We so, need them. Get them over. <laughs> oh man. So where do y'all? Where do you make them? And and. I, I, I build them rod holders right here. Uh, I got a shop right here at my house. It's where I build them at. And then you dip them and send them I, to Peter. I ship them to Peter, and we have them dipped. Uh, we have the rubber coat and dipped on them. Uh, and Peter sells them. Peter does all the distributing. He takes care of all the hard stuff. And he does a mighty fine job at it. Man, I'll tell you what. You nailed it when you found Peter. Oh, hey, he, that- he's... I tell anybody, man, he's the uh, he's been the success of this company right here. Uh, the way he markets, the way he pushes, and uh, hey, he he's done figured me out too. Uh, <laughs> you know, he asked me about something. Can you build this? I'm like, man, I don't want food with that. On next thing you know, hey, I got it on the website. We're fixing to sell them. I'm like, well, I gotta I gotta build them now. <laughs> I gotta do it now. <laughs> He's been good to me, treats me and my son like family. So I, you know, I love being part of the SmackDown team. And uh we've been on there for about a year now, or maybe a little less, but it's been a it's been fun being with you guys. I'm I'm honored to be on the team. So and, and you know what? We 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 really uh want the people that you know that's using our products, we want them to feel like they're part of a family. Hey, we don't get into all this. You got to do this. You got to do yeah. that. Hey, man, just use our product, fish, tell people about it, and we all happy. You know what I mean? I just appreciate y'all so much, man. Well, I, tell you, I tell you, man, it's been great. I know ever since I've switched over, man, I've had so many people looking at the boat. They <laughs> love it. It has been a game changer for everything we do here at Carolina Lightweights. I love how positive SmackDown is just as a as group as a company uh never hear any negative stuff you you uh you back vets kids uh, yes sir well you know uh chris uh one of the things that we and, I, and i'm stressed this to peter you know we are who we are we are selling smackdown products and uh don't i i, I can't i'm gonna t- be honest i can't stand drama i you know, I had a te- I've got some teenagers, and I taught. Uh, I was teaching a um, uh, community college there for a while. I had to deal with that all the time, and I'm like, you know what? There's just one thing I cannot stand. And so, you, if any time you see drama, you're gonna say, "Hey, you ain't gonna find Stacy there." Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm like, we just do what we do. We're here to sell our products. We're just trying to do the best that we can do with what we got, you know, with our product. And that's really what we're concerned with. Uh, Want our customers to feel like, hey, uh, to have confidence 
in our product, and I was sharing with y'all earlier, um, we don't want to put anything out that I wouldn't use on my boat. Uh, if I if I if, I, if I'm not going to use it, I'm not I'm not going to try to sell it to you and uh, expect you to use it. You know, and yeah. so that's what we that's just what we've stuck with. We wanted that set that bar there, and that's what we do. And we're started, constantly trying to stay on the cutting edge, and Peter stays on this, and he stays pushing me, and we just continue the truck run along. I switched over to SmackDowns during the pandemic, and I, I love them, man. I love the metal t- is turned down. I don't catch my nets on them. They're a lot safer. I, you know, uh, you won't get your pant leg caught on them and dump you into the lake. Uh, where did you find Peter, and how did you bring him on board? Well, I, I think that Peter had had really discovered me way before uh, we had the rod holders, and uh, we was just talking back and forth then. And so, he Peter, was you, me you out, came out. from the golf industry, right? Oh, a long, long time ago. I, I haven't been in the, in the golf business since '91. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I had been. I had had that product. I. I um, I have been a fabricator about all my life, and I just about build everything that I've ever had. I just do it myself, and that's just what I like doing. And uh, I had been working on this design for probably about three years. I know somebody thinks that's a long time to be working on something that probably looks so simple, you know. But (laughs) I started out with something that wasn't even probably close to what that looks like. And I I, I would build me a set of them and put them on my boat, and I would fish with them. And I'm like, I don't like this. I need to change this to this. You know what I mean? And I would go back and build another set, put them on my boat, go to fishing with them. And I'm like, well, I don't like this. It needs to be less way. And I would, I kept fooling around with that for two or three years. You know, I may fish with them for two or three months and I figure, hey, we need to do this different. I could add this. And, and I come up with the design that I got now. And when I got with it, I'm like, I, there ain't really much else I can do with this. Yeah, you and that's it. where I just settled down at. I think probably what the, I've noticed is completely different with yours because I've used them all. Uh, with yours is my rods, when I'm dragging or, dri- or drifting, they're not doing all this in the rod holder. They're they're locked. And, yeah. and all my other ones, you know, when I hit a wave, it, you know, it's – I strains crazy on an angler. They'll drive. It'll drive you nuts. Those rods are locked. Even in big water, those things are. Just- yeah. You know, and I, 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 there are some things that, you know, that was just some things we worked with and tried to do, trying to do our best. I tried to do my best to have it to fit a certain way, but also keep in mind that different rods have different size handles and all this and, I'm sure I could have made it a little bit tighter, but then I'd have had trouble with big handle rods trying to fit into it. So we yeah. settled right where we're at, you know, and that's where we went with it at. Well, it's, I, I tell it's, you, it's been good for me, I'm telling you. I tell you, you have hit the nail on the head. You know, I, it's been a game changer for us, for me. You know, you know, being able to use three rods out of one holder, I mean, all kinds of different ways that you can set it up and stuff, you know, in different situations, currents and stuff, being able to put rods in certain locations yeah. out of one rod holder is just amazing. Yeah, and I, when we went with that pipe on the front of it, uh, I'm like, man. Yeah. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this: I, there's a lot of things I just cannot take credit for, uh, and there's just been people that has been so good to me uh, all across this nation that has called me and said, Stacy, I'm, I'm talking about genuine, sincere and guys that was knowing what they was doing. And they call me and says, I think you could put a piece of pipe on the front of this. We we've been buying them. And, uh, matter of fact, I think the guy who told us this says, I just want to buy some that ain't been coated. We want to weld a piece of pipe on the front of them. And this is what we like to do with them. And I, he says, I do this. I'm going to send you a picture. And when he sent me a picture, he called me back. And I just asked him, I says, man, I, I know I don't have nothing to do with this, but can I have this idea? He says, it's yours. If you want it, it's yours. And 
He says, you just go to sell them. I said, well, we going I'm going to make a set. What color do you want? And how many of them do you want? <laughs> and, and so just people helping us out, you know, along the way that's had great ideas and we just add them in there. And it's really, uh, I, I tell people that I, I, it's just the favor of the Lord, man. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> That's it. You you know, I've met Peter out a few shows now and seeing some of the new products that you have out. I mean, Peter, you were showing them to me. We we're looking at them at the, uh, in Alabama not too long ago, man. Uh, y'all, y'all got some top notch stuff. If you want to tell us about those. Yeah, I mean, we, other than the rod holders, the pipe rod holders, uh, the pipe rod holders are coming uh, eight <clears throat> eight colors, not all the original rod holders come in ten colors and three stem sizes, and um, we, we've added all the rod holder bases, you know, Rock Creek made the bases for us for a few years, and then and, and Kevin um, uh, had the good fortune to, to um, um, you know, uh, not produce those anymore, he's, he's in a pretty good position right now. And we took over uh, doing those last uh, summer, uh, made some changes, some tweaks, some upgrades uh, to the bases. We've got them powder coated now. We've had we've got the um, uh, those color color colored knobs, the hardware uh, thumb screws now. Um, we've added the bimini tops, uh, which are have been a massive hit, uh, yeah. and a much better way to mount your bimini tops. Uh, you can mount them on pontoons or you know. The, uh, you're, you're, you can have them crack modded, you name it. Uh, so many different options, so much more versatility, so many more choices that people have now these days. And um, uh, one, you know, the the, the new uh, uh, limited base that we just came out with, you know, that allows you to put your your rod holder. Any came up with that. That's a hey. that's somebody's. <laughs> I'm going to share this. I'm going to share two things because. We got so many colors now. Peter made me think yeah. about something. When we first started, I'm like, we're just going to sell blue and green, just blue and green. You know what I mean? I'm like, and Peter just stayed on me and stayed on me. We got to sell these other colors. And I'm like, man, just, and, and I tell him, I said, hey, just whatever. If you think that's right, you know, let's, let's go with it. And so we started adding, adding, adding. And I'm like, man, um, and I, you know, I would say this, that was one of the greatest things we done was when we went to all the different colors. Uh, we was one of the first, I would, you know, there was some, uh, we went with all the colors and I sent a lot of other people just falling behind, but it really, it was just trying to give the customer what Peter was after, giving the customer what they want. I think y'all came on the scene yeah. right when catfishing was changed from, the, the rusty, you know, just hodgepodge everything to now there's a lot of money going into it. Everybody wants their stuff looking good. They want to match their boat with their rigs, with yeah. their, with their, you know, stuff. And so offering those colors, guys like, oh, they got my color. I'm, I'm it's, getting, I got a hat. I just got to have it. <laughs> got like, and that, uh, listen, it just blew, it went all. Hey, I'm going to tell you, and it was during the, the COVID time. Uh, we had just, what, Peter, we've been in business maybe a year. Yeah. We started, May, uh, kicked off May 5th, 2020. And, uh, we was right there alone before they shut everything down. And I'm like, man, this is fiction to just, it, this is fiction to do it. This is fiction to kill it. You know what I mean? Hey, I, I didn't know they was giving money out there about everybody wanting to buy fish and stuff. <laughs> and so we, yeah, it just, yeah. It and, just blew up, and I'm yeah. like, my lord, we can't keep up. I was teaching at the community college. I was teaching welding at uh, the community college. Uh, I was doing that full time, and coming home and trying to stay on top of all this. And I'm like, man, it it, it is it just it just blew up, and we, I felt like we just got in at a good time. The money was being poured into the economy, you know, and I it just took off. That's it. Ah, people saw opportunity to upgrade their boats, upgrade uh, their equipment, uh, yeah. more options, more choices, uh, a lot more versatility. That's what we do. And uh, um, I, I won't go into uh, too many details, but we've got about the next two years already full of products in the pipeline that we're, that we're working on or, or building or testing right now. So we've got a lot more, a lot, lot more coming. 
I, so. I love that that y'all don't just okay, we got a successful product and we're just going to stick with that. I I like uh, that y'all are constantly trying to improve it, trying to uh, bring new stuff on, give more options for guys. I think that's that's what I one of the things I love about SmackDown, the innovation. Chris, you know the new piece we got out, we call it the Beast, 360 degrees. Yeah, that thing's insane. Yeah. Two years ago, I'm sitting down and I'm like, I see a piece that's on an arm. It ain't got to do with a boat or nothing, a real rod holder. And it and it and it functioned, you know, broke in the middle. And you could, I'm like, man, if I had that with with a, a 13 thread, 13, a half inch 13 thread to go down to a base and to accept a rod holder from the top, I said, I think, man, this would be great. And I couldn't quite. I talked to a couple of people. I ain't too good at drawing, but I finally got our hands on a piece and I took my hacksaw and I went to cutting and trying to give that engineer, the, the machinist, an idea. Hey, this is what I'm looking for right here. And he come back with it. And there it was. I said, that's what I want right there. I tell you, I, I saw those in person, I believe, uh, in Alabama. We were looking there, Peter, and I tell you, those are game changers. I mean, that is some top-notch I mean, stuff that you have right there. It really is. And, and it gives the angler, you no, know, if wherever you're on that boat, if you need that Pacific angle, and if you want to change the angle of your rod holder any time, this is going to be able to do it. And it's uh, it's not plastic. It is uh, – it's a, a aluminum. It's going to hold that monster fish that you hang into. So it's really a unique product. I thought. I think it's a it's a good thing. That's three three very large chunks of, of machined and anodized aluminum. It's not cheap. It's not plastic. It's not small. It is big, but it's a you know, like we call it a beast because it's, it's very big. It's built to withstand anything. But it's a lot of lot of base, um, and you need need to have it that size for it to perform correctly like it does so and, and like it, we, we're working on some other stuff uh you know we just we want to just stay out in the forefront uh, yeah it seems like everything's engineered to a higher standard a beefed up heavy duty standard i think you know it's i don't know how y'all y'all got hooked up with colton howell but man y'all y'all both kind of man that's a great yes, partnership uh, Colton, Colton has been a uh, Colton has been good to us, and we we've tried to be best we can to him, and uh, I hope he understands we how much we appreciate. Uh, oh, the, I know he does the Definitely. combination of yeah. what he does for us. Man, There's some we, type of synergy between y'all, you two, yeah, that yes, uh, has really helped each other uh, take it has. Yeah, take this rod holder deal to a whole different level. <laughs> Well, Chris, I, I, I laugh a little bit because you may mention about, you know, the quality. Hey, if it can be tore up, I can tear it up. I'm telling you, I'm rough on the stuff. Man. You and me I am, both, buddy. I am rough on it. <laughs> and I tell people all the time, I'm like, I'm telling you, if it survives me, you know, it, we was going across the lake last year, and uh, it probably been a couple of years ago. I had my rod holders stood up in the in the smack my rods in my SmackDown rod holders, and I'm telling you, I bet it's three foot rollers. Joey says you're gonna lose them rods. I said if anybody loses a rod out of rod, but one of them rod holders, I want to be the man who does it. I says just keep an eye on them. I says I want to see what can it stay in there, just running 40 miles an hour in three foot rollers, you know. And so hey. hey. If you're gonna try it out, the, the, you gotta just test it somewhere or another. That's it. <laughs> I, and not only, I mean, not only do you guys put out such great products, everything is so neat. When you put it on your boat, you know, everything is put right in place. No drilling holes. I mean, just goes right in place to fit every every boat out there, just about. Yeah. Peter's been really good uh with on the forefront with all them brackets and stuff. That was a major thing of his. Hey. We want to be able to provide all these boats with these track systems a way yeah. to mount these products. And that's what we have tried to excel at. You know, and what, what it's done is it helps include people, whether uh, 
we run across and we, we get upwards of a hundred or more messages, text, email, phone calls a day. Uh, it, it is really right now, it's really insane. But some of these people are brand new, starting out catfishing. They can't afford much. They, they have a 20 year old boat. How do I, how do I rig my boat with your rod holders? What kind of bases or what can you do for me? What do you have for me? And we get questions like that constantly. So we're not, not necessarily looking, we're looking for that for the, not only for the, for the, the people, the tournament guys and the guides who have the top equipment, but also those people who are just starting out because those people are going to be with us for many years to come. And we're going to get a help and get started in the sport and enjoy it right now too, with whatever they can afford to as well. Well, I, I tell you, man, like I said, I put these things on my boat, put right into the track system on the side of that pro cat and everything is put, I mean, so nice and neat in place. It's, you know, it's not getting all right in your way. And, I mean, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, all my tournament buddies got them. All my guide buddies got them. All my fun fishing buddies got them. Everybody likes them. So, yeah. they, they are built for the beast. There's no doubt. We nailed 280s this weekend, and they handled them just fine. Oh, wow. Hey, I saw that. Was that like a husband and wife there? Or the husband was a yeah, vet? Yeah, we were out on an Operation Vets with Nets uh, mission. And it was a, a husband, wife, uh, and I, his biggest fish was 10 pounds before, and hers was like two. <laughs> and they're like, I'm like, what do y'all want to do? And they're like, we want we want some PBs. I'm like, well, 10 and two, we're getting that. Uh, I was like, how big y'all want to get? And they're like, let's get some seven. And I'm like, dang. <laughs> y'all got some. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be possible. We'll try. Hey, I just got my chat pulled up. I didn't see all this because I had I ain't been on here in a while, so I'm pretty rusty at this. But I want to do. I do want to say to all the guys that are in here. I know I, I see a lot of people that I, that I know that runs our products. Yeah, guys, I, I'm telling you, guys, I cannot tell y'all how much I appreciate y'all. Jack, Jackie Swindle, Bobby Boucher is in the house, and Aaron Churchwell. I know Trent Williams and. Uh, Nathan Tremble, guys, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, we'll uh, we're gonna answer some questions. So I'll I'll start keeping a better eye on chat. If you guys got questions for these boys, <laughs> put them hey, through. Uh, we're not taking no questions from Aaron Church William. <laughs> <laughs> I I say chat's been going by so fast. I mean, I've been sitting here watching it and. You know, everybody's just talking about, man, how much they love their, their rod holders, you know, their smack their rod holders. I mean, it's been unbelievable. I mean, you know, I'm seeing I've got 16 of them on here. I think I've seen some. You yeah, know, I got 24. Even, I got yeah. 22. <laughs> hey, there was, there was a guy I seen a boat. I'm telling you, I think it might have been, uh, uh, man, Joey Jr., uh, Joseph Jr., Joseph Scott Jr., you know what I'm talking about, Peter? Yeah. You know, Man, he had – I bet you he had 20 rod holders or so on that boat. I'm like, my or, Lord, we ought to give you a prize for just for all these rod holders you got. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Aaron we says, hey, what, what's coming out in the near future, guys? I, I'm going to go ahead and, and just throw this out here because I know some people see some stuff that we do, and I do do a little custom work on the side when I get a little time. Uh and it's, it's going to be coming to the website here before long. I put a little te couple of teasers out there, but we're going to do some custom live whales, and these will yeah, be shipped uh, yeah. with shipping available. Uh, shipping's included in everything, and it'll be shipped right there to your door. Uh, and we're going to have it where it's allowed that there's some uh, – that there's a, a – chance that you can build this thing like from 48 to 72 inches long and there'll be some perimeters how wide it can be and how tall it'll be so we're going to give that customer you know he'll be able to go in there choose that from a drop down bar and choose a size live well that uh that'll fit his uh unique i know a bunch of guys going to be wanting that because well, there's, there's not do. a whole lot of options for that right now <laughs> Corey Whaley says, do you recommend using a plate under the multi-bar when mounting to a fiberglass boat? I got them. I got plates because I'd yeah. rip that thing off. I, I would recommend I would recommend it 
uh, on a fiberglass boat for sure. Uh, and, and, and any time that, you know, uh, any time that there's any kind of, if you got even on an aluminum boat where there's a little flex or something in it, you know, put your aluminum plate up under it and hey, it's going to take care of most of that right there problem. Yeah, Colton recommends uh, rivet nuts too for uh, fiberglass bolts as well too. When we make your plates. But we get questions every day, so, you know, feel free to call us or ask any of us, too. I, I had him send him. I'm like, he's like, can you get this and get that? I was like, uh, I don't know. Can you, can you send it to me? He's like, I'll have them there in three days. So, And that's a good thing with dealing with Colton because, you, hey, Colton, I just need some plates to go up under mine while he had it. <laughs> well, I tell you, he's, I've, I've got some for mine, and they are solid. I mean, them things will not move. And the, the, the next thing with Colton, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a shout out. He has done really good. Not he, He's got a good product, uh, really, really good product, the best that's out there. But I he's agree. also been very uh, good at the design of how to mount a one on a boat or a certain model boat. And he's worked around this stuff. And, man, you know, people that's had issues with this, you know, being a little flimsy here on this type boat of water, Man, he has come up with a fix for them things, which then gives that customer, no matter what that you're buying, hey, he's he's got it for that. Yeah, he worked with me. Uh, it was during the pandemic, and I was like, "Well, I got a son, and we and he likes to tube. Uh, I don't know about having multi bars bars stretched across the back when I'm tubing." He's like, "Well." Uh, I'm going to design one for you. That's going to be a, you can move it. Yeah. And so he worked on that thing for six months and he'd call and say, man, this, this thing's kicking my ass, <laughs> but he's like, but, but give me a little more time. I'm going to figure it out. And he, he stuck to it. And eventually he came up with a multi, a multi bar that was adjustable just for me. You know, <laughs> he's like, He's like, I guess I'm going to probably need you to be field staff now since. <laughs> <laughs> like John Boy, uh, John Boy Catfish and Ash, did we sell a rod rack? Uh, John Boy, what we do, what we sell is the multi-bar for our rod rack. Yeah. That's the best there is. And, and paired with the SmackDown, you will not find a better setup for big fish. Or, I mean, small fish or any fish. Hell. <laughs> Peter, I, I want to give you a shout out, man, because the marketing part of it, the, the TikToks, the, all the little things you do, you know, not little, but, you know, the things you do on the getting the word out there and stuff. You know, I've watched you in action, man. I give you props, brother. You you are getting out there. I would agree. Peter, you are instrumental in what SmackDown hey, hands, is all about. Hands down. I'm going to say this. I'm going to give him a shout out today. Because I have people calling me all the time, TikTok, you know, hey, uh, YouTube and all. I'm like, man, I don't even know what's on there. <laughs> I said, Peter, <laughs> Peter does all that. I don't know how to get on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's nice. because We have we have thousands and thousands of customers. I should probably add them up someday uh, that we've, we've had taken on the last four years and and then and, and pro staff and guides and weekend fishermen, beginners and advanced guys and girls. And they send us so much information and so many pictures and everything, which is fantastic. And, uh, you know, occasionally we'll, we'll take them off other people's pages that we, that they say, Hey, you know, go to my page and take whatever you want. Uh, so th there is a storage of material to put on there. Uh, right now, just this time of year, it's time to get on, <laughs> on there. Uh, but we have so many people that are, really part of the SmackDown family, um, be uh, their, their family and friends beyond customers. And, uh, they love to, to be on there and we're happy to share it and can give them, um, uh, exposure and maybe help their brand. If they're a YouTuber, for example, uh, we love working with them. Keep sending them. Well, I love tell it. you, man, you know, it, it, here at Carolina Lakeways, you know, we, we do a lot of people with the pictures and, you know, we see all of, and we talk to a lot of people. And, you know, with the SmackDown and stuff, you know, they, they love them. And, you know, being able to share the pictures all over TikTok, you know, YouTube, 
in, in Facebook and stuff. You know, we see them here. And, you know, y'all guys have posted the pictures of them. And we get comments back like, man, you know, that feels good seeing our picture. You know, yeah. across, you know, it's just it's like giving back to everybody. And, and that's what that's what we want. Uh, we want uh, you as a fisherman. We want you to feel like you're a part of our family. You got kids that's fishing. They want we, we want to use them. If they let us use them for the advertising, hey, I know that they get to see their uh, kid or the kid gets to see their self on a, a, a ad or something. Hey, it just makes your day. And that's what we want to be able to do for them. Yeah. I think y'all picked some good guys too to, to represent y- y'all. Uh, you know, I'm friends with the Ladd brothers. I, I, it's, I, they're really good guys. Greg Mays, awesome teammate. Uh, you know, Anthony Brown, another guy, bunch of good guys. I, I see that kind of, uh, good people magnetized towards towards you guys. Uh, yes, sir. Y'all oh, yeah. built a, a heck of a team. So, kudos, boys. <laughs> Thank you. It's a, it's a good, good, good character. Some people, some of these people we've worked with for four four straight years now. So, and uh, and we got a lot more coming. So, uh, I tell you, you know, like I said. I enjoy, I do a lot of pictures myself, and I enjoy, you know, right there at sunset, showing, be able to show in those rods, you know, just all different positions, standing straight up, you know, tournaments, you're going across Santee Cooper, them things are standing straight up, and they're not moving. I mean, just like you were talking about earlier, and we get a lot of comments like, man, dog, you know, we're, we're, we're coming up behind you, we're watching, you know, we love the way your rod holders look. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and that's compliments that, you know, I want to share to y'all that we, ever since we've switched over, that we're hearing and stuff. And, it, it, you know, we want to share that with everybody. Michael Hilliard asked, said, ask Stacy about catching an alligator. <laughs> hey, Michael Hilliard, man. Michael Hilliard is one of my local buddies. He, he's not far from me. And I uh, got to know him here a couple of years ago, man. He is a great guy. Hey, he's a great cat fisherman. And, uh, yeah, he's probably heard him and Aaron Church where they give him his alligator story. I, I ain't gonna tell it this ad. I ain't got another time. And I'm t- <laughs> right. for some reason or another, I thought I could catch one one time. Well, I, I, I don't think- know what I caught it or it caught me. <laughs> y'all, y'all catch a lot of spoonbills out in your area, correct? I mean, y'all. No, they catch him out there. Uh, uh, oh, Oklahoma, Missouri. Yeah, that's yeah. where them, that's where them spoon bill yeah. come from. A lot, of, uh, a lot. Tommy Bond and them's the one that's catching a lot of them spoon bill. Tommy Bond has been a great guy, promoter of our uh, products. Man, I can't give him enough credit. Uh, he yeah. got our products out Keystone west. Keystone Lake is that Lake? Mm-hmm. That's where I see a lot of those coming out of. Seeing that's like. where they come from. Grand Lake, Keystone. Yeah. Our- the big, the big the big dogs uh, Keystone, but all those guys, no weight guide service. Uh, uh, like yeah. get the, a world record now, a couple times a year. Like, yeah, yeah, they I saw do. one just recently caught 150 or 60 pounds. Sure was just here recently. That uh, back down yeah. the road, yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeremiah Mefford with uh. <laughs> on Keystone Lake, one of our uh, he's for, Jeremiah is the one who's done broke the world record okay. a couple of times. Yeah, one sixty four. Then and then a, in Missouri recently, there was a one sixty four eight ounces. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, saw that it had beaten it by ounces or half. Yeah. It, it, it was. You sure right? It, it it didn't beat it by much, but it beat it by a couple of ounces. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> that was enough, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I, I got that in the record book, didn't it? That looks like a lot of fun. I love to get out there sometime and try to catch some of those. Well, you know, there's there's a video. The other day and couldn't believe how great them SmackDown raw holders look on multibars. That was a good picture. That orange and camouflage looks pretty dang good. I like that. I saw Peter shared that out. Wait, wait, which one was it? That was uh, the the Lad Brothers on their with their orange SmackDowns on multibars on their new camouflage boat. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, yep. thank you, thank you, Bobby Boucher. 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the spoon bill, they run, uh, most run multi bars, uh, smack down rod holders. They're trolling five miles an hour with dipsy divers at 50, 60 and, and smack down rod holders hold up to them every time. Um, they, they put in and Tommy Vaughn will run two or three trips a day. Sometimes Dang, the hard work. Eat on his years and, uh, and then they work for him. So, yeah. There's Bobby Boucher says Stacy Gaston doesn't look down on wannabe cat fishermen. That's a man. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. We, we appreciate all the new guys coming into the sport. You know, it helps it grow. It's good for everyone. You know, a lot of people call us with questions. They're brand new people every day. Hey, call us. We're here to help out. We're not gonna we're not gonna shut any five people away. We all start at one time. We're all beginners at one time. Give us a call. We're we're more than and I will somewhere. Peter, I will give you a shout out, man. There is nothing that they can't call you about and talk to you about because you answer every question. You take the time, and the way you do each customer is amazing, my friend. Because I've talked with you several times, and you know, like I said, you were always there, and you had any answer I needed, man. God, it's, it's easy when you like what you're doing too. So <laughs> we doing here. Yeah, Peter's one of those guys that reached out to me and said, "Ask me if I need anything." I mean, <laughs> who does that? You know, yeah. I'm like, I, I mean, I don't need anything, but I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna keep trying to do what I'm doing, helping you guys. So, it's some some of the best customer service out in the industry by far, hands yeah. down. Bob Jennings says I'm gonna get some for crappy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, old Bob's been good to us too, man. I thank you, Bob. We're we're gonna be at the uh, at, at Bob Denon's King Cat. Uh, oh, what do you call it? The uh, um, there's a bunch of vendors. Are going to they have the expo. Expo there May third and fourth in Owensboro, Kentucky too. Uh, SmackDown's gonna be there too. Yeah. Charles Violet said it's good time hanging out with Peter. Charles, man, what where did I see Charles at? What one of these events? Kentucky. You, got, you can't even keep up with them. You guys are all over. <laughs> hey, 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 this is uh, people ask Wait me all the time. last week. Yeah, it's, it's, he just stays on the go, man. He's he's pushing these products. Yeah, and then it's going to be uh, get the. I'll just throw this in and be done that uh, we're going to be at the CR Corner Invitational to uh, doing demos. Important to pro staff, a sport, and anyone anyone else there uh, who wants to upgrade to SmackDown too. That's April twentieth at. Uh, uh, what is it called? Ingles Harbor? Uh, boat, run, boat launch? Yes, Ingles Harbor, yes, sir. Yeah. Alabama, we're going to be there April 20th, too. So, looking forward to seeing you all there. Right. Roger says, when is the Owensboro Expo? May 3rd and 4th. Friday, Saturday, May 3rd and 4th at the Owensboro Convention Center. Roger, fun by, man. Can't wait to see you. Hey, Peter. Yeah. The uh, the Charles is uh, fast, Eddie. That was that was with you, fast Eddie. Oh yeah, yeah that's your job. It's gonna be fast Eddie. <laughs> okay, that's that's a secret name. Okay, All right. <laughs> well, fast Eddie is a legend there in Kentucky at the Paducah show. Yes, yep. Oh yeah, he he, he re got everything rigged up. Uh, for, uh, he picked up everything and rigged out his boat there. So, so what made you start making rod holders, Stacy? Well, it, it just goes back to um, about everything that I've ever done. Uh, I've always just tried to build stuff myself. That's just what I do. Uh, having a fabrication shop, and I just get out there, and I just like to have my what I'm using to be my own stuff. I, uh, I I used to I used to get out here and fix jeeps up, and I take a jeep uh, like a CJ7. And the roll bars, I built the roll bars, the, the stuff around the front of them, down the side, everything on that thing would be something that I built myself. So I've just always been like that. And that's how I started with this product right here. And that's and it's done got to where it's at today. <laughs> when did it re when did you really think, okay, this thing's something? Because it seemed like it happened pretty quick. Um after Peter finally talked me into, hey, let's put it on the market and let's sell it, you know, I'm like, I, I don't know. And I, I really went around there on a circle for a month or two. I don't know about this and blah, blah, blah. And 
um, and I agreed to it. And we, he had the website set up. Peter took care of all that, and he does all the sales, all the promotion uh, for that. And probably about after a month, once we put the website up, it they started just selling. Yeah, and it just started going, and it started going, and I, it didn't take long into it. And I, it, it was almost just it spread like wildfire, just like that. And I'm like, man. I cannot believe this. My dad will ride over on the four wheeler. He live, we we got forty acres here, and he'll drive over here, and he'll see me. You know, when we first started, a couple of weeks started, a couple of months started, and he said, "Well, how many boats need rod holders?" I said, "I don't know, but it's more than we can keep up with." And he'll come over here now. He says, "Y'all ain't got caught up with all them rod holders yet." I said, "No, and I hope we don't." <laughs> Uh, you, you know, it, 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 y'all are kind of like we are, you know, family style business, you know, everybody works together, everybody gets along so good, and you can tell that, you know, that's what everybody comes and they see at SmackDown. Yes, sir. And, and that, that's, that's what we want. Uh, yeah. I, I, that's what I want. I want our customers. I'm going to stress this again. I, I'm this type guy. Uh, I want our customers to have confidence that when you order something from us, that it's going to be top quality. If you order something from us, uh, that you're going to have confidence in it. Uh, and we stand behind what we do. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. Hey, I'm, I'm very tight with my money and I, I'm just like that. And, uh, I, I've ordered something and it ain't right. I just want, all I want the, the, the manufacturer to do is back his product. That's all I've ever asked. And if you buy something from me and you spend a hundred dollars with me and it ain't right, I want to make it right. That that's a hundred dollars that you worked hard for. And that's a hundred dollars that you could have done anything in the world with it, but you decided to buy this product from me. And all I'm I'm gonna back that product. We're gonna stand behind that. Uh, and we want to make sure that when you get this, you're getting what you paid for. Michael Hilliard said, I still have the original set and they are made to last. <laughs> hey, there, there was a guy that sent me a picture. They wrecked the boat. The boat shed fell in on the boat. And it, I mean, it bent it all up. And he sent me, it's been a couple of years ago. I should have saved it. He said, them rod holders are still on. <laughs> Hey, I mean, there was timbers laying all on top of us. Like, he's still there. <laughs> you may bend the side of the boat up. You may bend them, but you ain't going to break them things. <laughs> Pontoon Jody said they set off a boat, kind of like a set of new wheels and tires on a truck. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I, I can tell you, I do not worry not one bit about none of my equipment in these rod holders because I don't think you could hook a truck to them and, and break them. No, they, they're going to they're gonna be there. They, you, they're they going to hold as much as your rail or your boat's going to hold. <laughs> yeah. So and, you, and I tell you, you, got I've got, you got here by fishing, Stacy. Do you ever, do you, do you have time to fish now? Uh, in the last year, probably the last year and a half, uh, the last two years, my fishing has really dwindled down. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. Well, I've written, they probably do. You keep up with me on Facebook. You know, you probably see a lot of spiritual stuff I put out there. Uh, I am a pastor of a church. Uh, and that, I, I've been a pastor for 28 years. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a full-time pastor. So that keeps me pretty occupied. That keeps me busy, too, along with what I do. So I don't have the time that I used to have. Yeah, uh, but I did have at one time uh, to do fishing and everything else. Yeah, no, no more travel fishing on the weekends. And no, no, so no more travel fishing on the weekends for a couple of years of the, for a couple of years there, I was not full time pastor. Uh, uh, so I had a little bit of extra time there that I could, but now I don't have no time. Saturdays is almost out of the question for me. You know, to have a travel five or six hours to fish and try to be back, I, I just can't do that. 
And Stacy, I want to say, I see some of your little videos you put up, all dressed up in your suit, heading to church and stuff, man. I want to say thumbs up to you, brother. I, I really enjoy seeing those. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. Stacy, yeah. holders. Stacy, more rod holders. Hurry up. <laughs> Me, I'm working on them right now. I've been working all day on them. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, Peter called me last week said he needed this many rod holders and he called me back two days later and says when are they going to ship out I said Peter I got over a thousand I got about 1500 I'm trying to get to you right now hey Peter <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ship them Wednesday or Thursday at the very latest oh, okay. they're going to crate man it's going to be full of them <laughs> that does cut into the fishing time a little bit too admittedly <laughs> Michael Hilliard says, Peter, I hope to see you at the Sea Ark Owners Invitational. Oh, Michael, I'm going to be there about uh, 4 o'clock Friday. I can't wait. Greg Mays is picking me up at the airport at 3 o'clock and heading on over. So looking forward to seeing you, you know, uh, Friday and Saturday and Sunday morning. Awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah. To the list. So that's great. It's going to be a good time. Looking forward to that. Hey, good. It'd be fun to meet a lot of these people you talk to, your friends on Facebook. You know them well. You don't know them well. Um, but looking forward to another event like that. So, yeah, I think that's the cool part about going to those events, is seeing guys you become friends with, you know, 2,000 miles away or 1,000 miles away. And to finally get to meet them is pretty cool. And yeah. I was just trying to get that face put with that name, yeah. you know, and uh, hey, it's always been a privilege to to see people. We love for y'all to come and hang out around where we at. <laughs> and, and I will say, Peter, the shows I, I've learned myself and Rebecca being owners of Carolina Lakeways here, uh, we've learned, man, the shows will wear you out because yep. we're planning on hitting the road quite a bit next year. But, oh, my God. You know, I see you working, man. I mean, you're nonstop, brother. I, I'm going to tell you. How you do it, man? It, it's you know, like, honestly, it, it is it is long out. It, it, these these shows are brutal. You know, it's a twelve hour drive down to uh, you know Gadsden for that trip there. That, that twelve hour one way, you're you're putting your you know seven and nine, and, you know three days in a row. Then you're driving back to twelve hours, and you turn around and do it again the next weekend. It's it's brutal. Actually, all winter, um, it, it's a lot of working out. Uh, you have your treadmill weight, treadmill weights nonstop, keeping yourself in shape. Because if you try to do this not in shape, man, you're gonna you're gonna fall over and get sick pretty fast. So, but uh, it, it's a lot of working out uh, to get in shape, for business. So, uh, it, it, it's brutal enough as it is just without going to all the shows, you know. But well, uh, I, I I can't wait to see you at all the shows. I know we're wanting to do a quite a bit of myself next year. Well, how many shows are y'all planning for next year? Uh, in East Tennessee, uh, what is that? East Tennessee show late January next year, uh, Paducah, Kentucky, mid January next year. Uh, we do a couple shows in Wisconsin, a couple of musky shows. Um, we do, uh, what else? Uh, I, I don't know if there's gonna be another one in Tennessee in August. Uh, the Alabama show, uh, in first week of March, um, Owensboro, early May. Uh, Sierra Corners Invitational, those right now for for sure. So, yeah, and that's uh, they're, they're they're costly trips, but you know they end up paying for themselves through uh, through sales and promotion. But uh, still, it's it, it's a brutal when you're trying to to ship out, you know, thousands of rod holders a week. Uh, thank God we have very very good people, I mean, really good people, uh, family and friends that help out with this the business here too as well. Um, but it, it, it's a lot of work at this time of year, but we love it. We're having a blast. Keep, keep them coming. There you go, bro. Hey, I do want to throw one thing out there when I got a chance. Guys, the ones who are, who have any questions about SmackDown products or anything related to SmackDown catfishing, I know a lot of people, my chat on my messenger thing, I don't hardly fool with it no more. Uh, so if you have questions, concerning uh, SmackDown products, please connect us on the SmackDown catfishing page, uh, on the Messenger page itself. Instead of my personal thing, we ask you to do that right there. I just thought I'd share that out, throw that out right there. 
because I do get a lot of stuff and sometimes I do get to it. Sometimes I don't. Uh, I just got a lot of stuff going on. We got some things in place where people are checking on that chat, you know, on our messenger on SmackDown catfishing. So that right there will be taken care of. No, that get, we can get to you a lot faster that way too. And yeah, uh, It's going to be a lot faster that way. We, we say if you have um, a lot of people shut down 4 p.m. Friday afternoon, uh, you know what? If you send a message, you can't wait. You can you can send, call us, uh, email us, uh, text us, uh, message us uh, seven days a week. We get back to you. So uh, we, we love what you do and, and, and want to see you succeed as well. So hey, us, get back to you uh, ASAP. Hey, Michael, here you look at that hat right there, man. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I like that red SmackDown logo, the one that's right in the middle. I mean, yes, sir. The new one. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Sakoti on board. Sakoti, hey, Sakoti, how you doing? Hopefully, we'll see you in a few weeks. Scotty Michael Howard's a good guy. Appreciate him. Michael Hilliard says. How do I get an anchor and a new hat? <laughs> <laughs> we we got an anchor at uh, Greg Mays in uh, Edwardville, Northeast Alabama, our, our Northeast Alabama uh, SmackDown outpost. He's got an anchor there right now. So, hey, Greg, Greg, let me give a shout out to Greg too, man. Greg does a Greg does a big a lot for us, uh, and so if anybody's up around the North Alabama area. He keeps our products there at his house. He's got, he keeps some there that he sells. So, guys, anybody that's looking for stuff, you can always go see him. Uh, yeah. I just want to tell Greg how much we appreciate everything that he does for us. Yeah, he's got a good house there. Greg, we and, brought him on our team after just uh, Jamie had been becoming friendly with him at the shows and online, and I guess they uh, tick-tock together. <laughs> yeah we have a lot of fun he jumps on some of our tiktoks and stuff the other night he was fishing and uh we have a lot of fun really enjoy greg hey, he's a good guy you guys making the quick disconnect for the bait boards i think that's colton that's making that's gonna be colton that is a cool cool yes, it is. Come up with he's uh he's got some mad scientist type skills he he does. He he really does. New stuff. Oh, there's so many new products you know, in in the pipeline. Um, so Cody Howard says he's ready to compete against Stacy. <laughs> so Cody don't want none of this. <laughs> I, I know i can't wait to see what y'all got in the pipeline i mean it's exciting i mean you know just watching all the new stuff you've came out with i i can't wait to see what's next yeah we, we like to he says he's doing his whole boat to match his smackdown catfishing rod holders oh Bobby. coming to match beautiful <laughs> be looking pretty yeah because you know how important looking pretty is in catfishing now <laughs> you know in the musky world everything's black and gray and you go down south it's it's beautiful and, and heavy duty it's a world so yeah i tell you y'all y'all guys like us we love colors here at carolina lakeways i mean and y'all got all the colors and stuff to match anything you want so there's there's no doubt about it if you want a color y'all definitely have it yeah, Stacy, have you seen the Carolina Lake weights? These things, these things glow in the dark. I mean, they were just. <laughs> I have seen some uh, pictures of them on Facebook. Yes, they I don't drag. Yeah, yeah, I do too. I drag some. <laughs> at the uh, at the Alabama show, two weeks. Ago. Oh, they're good. They look good. Thank you, my friend. We appreciate that, and we appreciate y'all guys. Stacy, when do you get time to fish, man? Sounds like you're uh, a little busy these days. I, I am really busy. I, I just really hadn't had a whole lot of time here lately uh, to fish like I was fishing at one time. Uh, one time, probably a couple of years ago, I was trying to fish about twice a week. Yeah. Uh, I was fishing about every, you know, a lot of Fridays and, and 
and Saturdays I'd be fishing and I just hadn't had that time to do that anymore. I, I really miss that. I just got a lot going on. How far is your local fishery from, from your house? About an hour and 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. That makes it a little difficult. Uh, yeah. I, it's not, in, you know, uh, it's not something I can just easily go and just, you know, 15 minutes, have my boat in the water. Yeah. If I left the house right now. You can, it's going to be an hour and 30 minutes before I can get my boat in the water. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and, and just, it's just made, you know, I just got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it's, and it's all, but it's all good. Kevin Walters says, Hey y'all. Kevin Walters is a great guy. Yeah. We had Kevin on a couple of weeks ago. He's a really good guy. It, really is. it was good to see him at CatCon. I missed you guys. I wish that was a messed up deal. That's yes, sir. There's another guy that's in here. I don't know if he's still in here, but I do want to give him a shout out. His Trent Williams. Yeah. Uh, Man, Trent Williams has uh, been with us since day one. And he's just one of them guys, man, I just love him. And uh, he has been so good to us. Uh, he is, I mean, from day one. I call him Mr. – I call him Mr. Smackdown himself. That's who that he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I tell you, man, you were talking about your products on boats. Every, everywhere I look now, I mean, constantly at all these tournaments and stuff, and you were saying how good it feels to seeing your products. You know, I, I couldn't imagine. I mean, because everywhere you look now, I see SmackDowns. I mean, it's it's unbelievable at the support that y'all. I mean, it really is. I, I'm 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 straight up, man. That hey, I, I shared this before when we started. Uh, you know, being sitting out there on, the, on your boat. And you look around and you see, you know, you that are a tournament. And I, I feel I, I miss on I miss being straight up. I just feel like I'm the small guy in the business. I'm not the big guy, not the big name that's out there. I'm just a small guy that's just trying to just uh just make it and, and do the best I can. And when you look around and you see the guys that are the, the top number one products and, you know, the, the big product names that are out there and the guys has been in it for the last 10 years and look around and you see your product. And I'm like, man, over 50% of these pro boats is, is my product. And I'm telling you, I, 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 it's a proud feeling and a, and a humble experience at the same time uh, to thank man. Uh, here I am, just as this little old fish in this big old pond, and here I am, you know. <laughs> well, where do you think this thing's headed, Stacy? I know it's hard to kind of project where it's going because it's moved, man, it's moved fast. Uh, I'm gonna let Peter you. answer that. He he, he, he does, <laughs> he does really good at pushing all this stuff. <laughs> No, we we a lot more in the pipeline, um, fishing and boating both, and uh, we we want to. It, it takes a lot of investment and time to not only design but and, and to redesign and retest and retest and then perfect it. Um, man, I can't. I wish I could tell you what we have coming for the next two years. Um, it, it also we're we're looking in. We're going into, for example, the musky world. We're getting bigger in, in the musky up north. I know it's big in uh, Tennessee and Kentucky too, down south. Uh, it's very big up in the upper Midwest, um, and then uh, also west with uh, so sturgeon. Some people use our products for for, uh, for very large sturgeon. Uh, we're actually big in the California market, and uh, one of the guides out there, uh, Steve Johnson, switched to our products a couple of years ago. I got right out there has really taken the lead, spread the word for us out in California. Who knew? Never saw that coming. Uh, so different parts of the country, different species, and some very unique, new and unique products that nobody else is doing. Uh, you can't sell the same thing as everybody else. You got to go, uh, uh, you know, modernize your products, make them better, uh, more inventive, and it, it's a lot of fun doing that. So I'd, do make, I'd say SmackDown leads the way. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like a lot of the brands that I'm with lead the way. I I think that's cool. I would rather. Uh, I, I think being the leader is, is the way to, you know, it's. Chris, one of the things that, that, that we do, I think I told Peter this when we first started. I said, Peter, I, I'm not really worried about what everybody else is doing. 
Yeah. I said, we're going to yeah. do what we do. And I really want everybody else just trying to follow us. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I know your, I know the hardest part is trying to top what you've already done because what you've already done is just top notch. And y'all just trying to top that, man. How, how in the world do you even top what you've already done? And I think some of it too is just, you know, there might be, maybe there's some things we can't change on some things we feel like we've done done is what we can do. But we also feel like that whatever else we come out with needs to be the standard. That's what we, that's what we want. I, you know, we're not after the cheapest thing out there. We're, we're, we're just wanting to set a standard that this is what we use. This is what we believe in. And this is the standard which uh, we're wanting to meet with our products. Diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, I know how much work, it, you know, as far as what we do, the top, what we've already done, it's a lot of work. And I know y'all guys have really probably set up at night and going over certain things, just back and forth and man, and sitting there going, wow, you know, we've done it so good. You know, what else can we do on certain things? And I, I would, and I would say, say this, uh, once another big thing is not only the products I feel like that we have, and I, I feel like I feel very confident that our products are the top notch and we're trying to be, you know, Hey, this is the standard, but also the customer service yeah. that we want you to have confidence in us being able to call. Peter's going to answer that phone. Somebody's going to answer it. Uh, and, and, and ask what, you know, we have people all the time that call or maybe message, Hey, we're not good with, with computers, man. Call Peter, Peter, take you. We can do it over the phone. You know what I mean? We're going to take care of that. We're going to take care of that person. And you got questions. We're going to take care of it. So I think the customer service is as equally as important that with the product that if, if we got a good product and we got off of customer service, we still don't have nothing. Yeah. Uh, and if we got good customer service and, and ain't got no product, we don't have nothing. So we, we want to be able to provide both of them. And we want to be able to have that standard that's there that the customer has confidence. Hey, he's spending, he's spending a hundred dollars with us. I don't know. Hey, everybody might not feel this way, but I spent a hundred dollars with you. Hey, I want to be able to make sure I know that I'm getting my hundred dollars. <laughs> you know I, I mean? just want to feel like feel heard. You know, if you want to, you want to call somebody and ask some questions, you're gonna have somebody that's interested in in fielding your your questions and yes, sir. you know, send you on down the line, and uh, they make you, you know, you guys made me feel like family, and I, and I think that's. I, I can and, tell you, we try, we try our best to make everyone feel that way. I know there's some days that we're probably just, you know, that we're over overwhelmed with everything that's going on. But at the end of the day, you know, you give us time and you will be patient with us. We're going to make sure that we make our part happen. Well, I, I've heard from other fishermen. I've heard from other people, a lot of people, that your customer service is just like your product. It's top notch hands down i've heard that several several times man yes and sir spread the word thank you we're trying roger oh. says service is just as important as the product kevin yep. also says i've never called any time day or night that peter or stacy hadn't answered my call brandon lad says smack down baby <laughs> <laughs> well you know and you're you're as good as what you did today so you got to keep up every single day, consistency, persistence, um, and then an excellence every single day. You got to keep it up. And, and Peter, I tell you, man, like I said, hands down to you, brother. I've watched you. I, I, I've seen you at shows and stuff, man. You, you, you're top notch, my friend. You really are. Hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you, I, I, I'm, I, I ain't very, I ain't bashful about it. Uh, and I ain't here to take no glory or nothing because if this product would not be where it's at today, if it wasn't for Peter, hands down. Well, 
I well, think you. I agree. <laughs> you you hey, got hey, hey, to make it a the corner of my shop over there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, he is definitely a difference maker. I mean, he's a force multiplier. He's out there. He's the boots on the ground, talking to people, making people feel good about being part of or feeling like we are part of the SmackDown uh, journey or whatnot. So I appreciate what you've done for me and my son, Peter. Stacy, you're you build an awesome product, man. I love it, man. Just like every one of these other guys that's been in here tonight. It's obvious. We love SmackDown. And, and I want to say for myself and Carolina Lake Weeks, man, we couldn't ask for a better you know, company. We love you guys for what you represent. You represent great products, family. That's a big thing for ourselves. And we just love the standard that y'all have set. And we want to say thank you for myself and Myself, Rebecca, and Carolina Lakeways for sure. Juan Tienda said, I don't know about the customer service because I've never had to use it. I, I hope he never has to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had to use it either. I just, you know. Thank you, Eagle Eyes. Thank you, man. Peter's just a good guy, and he yeah. found me and made me feel good, invited me. So thanks, Peter. Love you, man. Yes, we're, we're trying. We've got some good, good uh, you know, t team members, staff, whatever you want to call them, and, and then customers and, and people who support us, and that, that makes a big difference. So we we sure appreciate it. Bob Denon says vision with great leadership, and there is no doubt about that. And I'm going to throw another thing out there, and I've said this many a time, um, and I mean this: it is hard to fail when so many people are. Uh, of our customers, our friends are helping do what they do. I, I'm telling you. Uh, and I, I, I give all the credit, man, that uh, to our customers, the people that's there, and, and the Lord has just really blessed us. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. I think when, you, when you're, you've got a positive leader, you've built a positive team, uh, there's nothing but good that come that can come from that. So. Yeah. Yes. Matt Kenyon says Palmetto State catfishing loves Carolina Lake weights and SmackDown rod holders. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. It was Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know. I know myself, Stacy Peter. I, man, this is an honor. I've looked forward to tonight's show, being able to talk with y'all, you know, face to face and. I, I've got some calls this week. People say, man, I can't wait to see the show this week. You know, I'm excited. You know, I, I can't wait. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad to chat. Everybody's been enjoying it. You know, I, I've been watching some other chats over here to the side, and I, I love it, man. Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, just, you know, or go ahead, go ahead, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm just glad we, I'm glad we got to talk about some of the business side of it uh, with SmackDown. Uh, some of the history and kind of where you guys are headed. I, I'm glad we got to have Peter on. I think, like I said, I think he's instrumental in what you're building, Stacy. Uh, I, I want to support you guys just because I like y'all. Uh, yes, I, sir. And I, I like being a part of part of the SmackDown uh, story. So, yes, sir. And Smack I know Jamie feels the same way. We've kind of built SmackDown into Carolina Lakeweights and what all our and we got 30 some odd guys that are repping us and and most of them are all running smackdown and yes, yes sir we just roll it all together and, and uh, that's kind of how we operate as well so you got a good thing the operation vets with nets too there huh yes yeah yeah yep got smackdown hooked up with operation vets with nets which i i love being i'm on the board of directors i'm one of the one of the captains taking guys out. I think it's a really awesome cause. Uh, putting vets, uh, get, giving vets real therapy. I know Stacy's got a big heart for them. Um, I, I see, I see, I've been seeing his stuff for years about it. Uh, Jamie does as well. And, uh, and uh, Operation Vets with Nets.org, guys, if you know a vet that's in need of real therapy, 
go to the website. Uh, you can donate. Uh, you can donate your time. You can donate your money. If you know a vet, you can you can get them out on the water for uh, zero cost fishing trips. We got captains all over the country. Uh, so it's a great cause. Yes. Yeah, Chris, I want to say this. Uh, uh, we try to our best to support everything that we can. I mean, I want people to know we support our vets. I know there's a lot of companies out there that ask, you know, it's constantly asking, uh, you know, we can't do but so much. Yeah. We try to, we, we try to support as much as we possibly can. I just want everybody out there to know, Hey, we, we stand behind our veterans. Uh, we, we stand behind, uh, what they stand for, what they've done for this country, uh, the sacrifices that not only that they have personally made themselves, but their families made in, uh, in what their husbands or their wives have chosen to do, you know, being a vet and everything that was going on. Hey, we appreciate that. I, I, I'm, I'm thankful for this country that we live in. I'm I love that about SmackDown. Uh, you know, Rich Cigara, who runs, who runs Operation Vets with Nets, he said, Chris, you got all these connections. Uh, I was like, I'm going to try to get you on with every one of my guys. I reached out to Peter and he said, absolutely. We would love to be a part of what y'all are doing. And, uh, and he was just instantly said, let's do this. And yes. I said, that's awesome. I know it's hard to give to everybody, um, but I think giving back to pets is probably one of the best. We, we try our best. Yes, sir. Yeah. So y'all, you know, appreciate you guys doing that. And, uh, Thanks, Peter. I know you probably obviously have to run stuff through Stacy, so, but uh, Peter is like absolutely. If Stacy says so. It's Peter. Good. Peter's got it just as many. Peter's got the got the responsibility. He can say yes when he wants to. <laughs> I, I, I know. But y'all, y'all make a great team. I know how team. I know how uh, teams work. So, and, and I want to say to you guys, you know. It's, it's an honor to represent your company, SmackDown Ride Holders, through Carolina Lake Weights. Thank you for allowing us to do that also. Yes, sir. Yeah, we we, we enjoy, you know, cross-promoting, too, to to make it make it a win-win for everybody um, uh, whenever, wherever we can. So, yeah. We're going to keep doing it, Peter. I appreciate you sharing out me and my son's stuff. I, I, you know, what we get out of it is that I get to help vets i get to help team members uh you you're instrumental in, in doing that so thanks for allowing me to be on the team and 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 helping me help other guys uh, that's pretty much what i get out of it i enjoy helping people so Great word all right yeah it's fun to see action jack and like i said you know what whether you're a beginner you're, you're a kid you're, you're a, a, a seasoned veteran or a tournament fisherman guide Hey, let's encourage them all. Let's get them in the sport. We love it. So we're gonna keep pushing. Palmetto Cat says, "Howdy, boys! Welcome in, Kevin. Welcome in, buddy." So, any last words before we get get done with this show? It's been an awesome show, guys. Want to say yes, thank, thank you, thank you for having so us much. on. Thank you. I know we could do another show on just fishing, but I wanted to do the SmackDown story and uh because i just i love i love the brand i love the company i, I you know i respect both of you guys so, uh, and we we definitely love for what it stands for also my friend i'm on i'm on i i know so cody jumped in earlier and said something about he was wanting to put me fishing we might need to have another show just so i can give some tips to so Cody, how to catch a big fish. Yeah, most of our shows it's it's about yeah. helping guys get to the next level of fishing. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody knows that Cody know he don't need no help catching no big fish. Know, most of the guys that, that watch our show are pretty accomplished anglers. Uh, oh. but they are looking, I know they would love to hear some some tips from you. Well, hey, I'm no I, doubt. I give them some tips. I'm probably tell them. I I told somebody one time. I says I can tell you the, uh, you know, the trial and error deal. I says most of the stuff I can tell you what not to do. 
<laughs> that's a big part of fishing, learning what not to do. I tell you, you can what, eliminate all that. That's how you become successful. Oh, Peter, uh, the floor is yours, my friend. Uh, you want to let everybody know uh, how can they order SmackDown? Uh, yeah, so any any number of ways you can you can message us, text us, uh, call us, email us, uh, support at smackdowncatfishing.com. Uh, of course, the, the 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 website smackdowncatfishing.com, smackdownrodholders.com, same same website, same everything. Uh, number is 334 721 3400. You can text us there too as well. Um, you can contact us 7 days a week. More often than not, I'm going to get back to you, or somebody's going to get back to you that day. Uh, worst case scenario, ne early next morning, um, we, we get back to you right away uh, and, and again, realize that we get hundreds of messages, uh, text, emails, phone calls a day. So we try to keep up with those, but not shipping out thousands of rod holders every week. So, um, but we, we sure appreciate it. Call us. We're here to help you out, whether it's your first timer, whether you're a seasoned pro. Um, we've had so many uh, established guides, hundreds and hundreds that, that have been in the business for years that you all know, um, that, that have been around for maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 years or more. And they all, a lot of them run our products. They've upgraded to our products. So we, we, we sure appreciate that. And um, anything you need, um, call us. We're always looking to get bigger and better. We're never going to rest in what we did, you know, 17 years ago. We're always going to keep on pushing forward and getting better every day. That's it. We're having fun doing it. So, yeah. We appreciate you too, buddy. We really do. And Stacy, uh, brother, I want to say thank you from all of us here at Carolina Lakeworks. Also, you too, Peter. Appreciate everything y'all have done for us. Yes, sir. Hey, thank y'all for having us on. You guys are welcome back anytime. Stacy, we'll get you back on for an actual fishing show. <laughs> That'll be fine. I, I mean, I was planning on hitting that tonight, but we just got. <laughs> You I'm never know where these shows go, and so yes, but I'm happy with where it went. I am. Yep. I enjoyed it. Yep. It's been a lot of fun. It's it's been fun seeing Jamie at the show. It's on a couple shows. One 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 in August. One in uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Just in, yeah, just in Alabama. Uh, yeah. Yeah. L lots more coming. Oh yeah, a lot more good stuff. So yep, we'll we'll see you and, and uh, Chris. Hope to see you in the lake. Uh, in the next year or less, too, in Texas. So, yeah, yeah, come on down, jump on with me and Jackson. We'll go catch some fish. That would be awesome. Okay. All right, buddy. Look like we lost Stacy. We got a big storm blowing through right now, tornado warning. So, oh, guys, man. Appreciate everybody stopping in, spending some time with us. It's been real. Peter, appreciate everything you do. Thank you, for us. Right, See, keep doing, thank you so much. What you're doing, buddy. You're, you're killing it. Talk to you soon. All right. God bless. God bless. Azul out. Be safe, Chris. <laughs>